Whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the beginner exam. are quite practiced and your potion meets the requirements as well congratulations on passing the beginner exam hmm, that was a piece of cake even so it was no match for your skills all right I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam I'm gonna head back to the lab now See you later, Traveler and Paimon.
sure I've forgotten something. <sighs> Not to worry, I'll simply send someone to fetch it. As soon as I remember what it was...
traveler? Paimon? Huh, looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him. We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Catstail, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm, then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruined dragon spot. It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we've discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh. Because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, Paimon gets what he's saying. Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in demand. Uh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Hmm, I see. How about... A potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again. Could you make something like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go making promises we can't keep, Traveler. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, 
This may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh. Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Perfect! <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. I have to stifle a smile every time I remember the look on my retainers' faces when I informed them of my plans today. Panic-stricken, but unable to muster the courage to say anything in opposition. <laughs> yes, this was a fine idea. Ah. Up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait! Don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! Of course! <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject! <laughs> And just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind.
sih. I'm sure I've forgotten something. <sighs> Not to worry, I'll simply send someone to fetch it. As soon as I remember what it was.
Traveler, Paimon, how has the potion making been going lately? Sucrose, you're back! Well, you just need to keep practicing. You'll get the hang of it in no time. As for the intermediate exam, just think of it as a practice session and you'll be fine. Well, ready to begin? Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Thank <laughs> you. 